you seen in Sam Howell, even from the end of the season? Well, you know, I mean, he's still confident. got a lot of confidence. But the difference I'm seeing really is from when he first got started, um, when we began OTAs, to where he is now. Uh, you know, the way he handles things, his command in terms of the things that he's doing. Um, one of the things that we're doing uh, is something we, we had done when I was in, in way back when I was in, uh, in Chicago. But uh, we mic Sam up uh, so we can listen to him, the way he's handling the, the, the huddle calls, how he's handling things at the line of scrimmage. Uh, it's given us a lot of insight in, into that. Uh, we're going to do with all our quarterbacks, but we started with Sam um, last week. And uh, so it, it's real interesting to watch the way you can see he's stepping into the huddle. He's taking charge, taking command. And it's one of the things that, you know, when you listen to Eric and you guys will hear him, you know, when something happens, he'll tell the quarterback, hey, you got to take charge. And you're starting to see that and, and with all of them. But, but you are seeing it. And I, I do notice it with Sam. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just have a different role than last year. Um, I think the leadership's all, always been inside of me. Um, just last year, you know, with the position I was in, it wasn't my job to come out here and, you know, try to get guys ready to go. Um, but I ain't mean, definitely just stepping into this year in a new role. It's, it's my job to get the guys going and take command of this team. Um, and so it's something I always still, I'm always trying to improve. Um, but obviously it's just a different, different role for me this year, and I have a lot more to do when I'm on the field, and i got to take control of the offense. Ron was mentioning that he mics you up. What's that been mm -hmm. like for you all? Yeah, it's been fun. Um, you know, I'm mic'd up when I'm saying the play calls and at the line of scrimmage. So it's been fun. I mean, it's a good opportunity for me to learn and, and hear what I sound like because um, it's something I've really never heard before. Um, but, yeah, it is. When, when they first said they were going to do it, I, I was kind of shocked because I've never heard of uh, somebody doing it. But I think it's a great idea, and it's definitely been it's been fun to hear their feedback and stuff like that. Andrew, so I know it's just May and things are just getting started, but how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Um, you know, having fun getting to know the guys in the locker room and then out here on the grass putting in some work. Uh, it's been a great start to OTAs. So just from an offensive line perspective, going up against this defensive line, how challenging is that? Um, yeah, we're getting a feel for it. You know, the, the tempo has slowed down a little bit, um, but we're still allowed to, you know, do a lot of things, um, working hands, working speed off the ball. And so, um, you know, they got a lot of skill up front on uh, their front seven. Um, we're getting a taste of it. So, you know, like I just said, we're getting a lot of really good work here in the beginning of OTAs. And while it's still early, what are some of the things that you would be looking to work on for your game personally? Yeah, we've been just honing on the fundamentals, man. I mean, so, I mean, the great part about, um, you know, this phase three stuff uh, here on the field is that we got, you know, at least an hour's work of, of just O-line individual stuff every day. So we're really honing on the, on the fundamentals, um, breaking it down between, uh, you know, Coach Juan and, and Travell. And, uh, you know, it's a real good balance that we got. So getting a ton of work at just all the fundamentals. Where do you feel like you're, you're better this year? Uh, well, I'm better at, uh, I'm, I know the playbook more. Uh, I'm getting a feel for, like, just, like, not just seeing things, like I can feel things. Like I feel like I'm more, more like better into like the scheme of what we doing. When you went home last year after the season, decompressed, went over it all. Was there anything you're like, man, next year I'm gonna, you know, like oh, yeah, you took away most from? Most definitely, because uh, I feel like I was supposed to be in between the white lines on Sunday on defense. So I feel like I, that was where I, I feel like I'm gonna take a big step forward this year, uh, being out there and being able to make plays for the team. It seems like you guys have a pretty good competition, you know, with, with the safety, with the nickel spot. Kind of how do you make your case? How do you say, you know, I'm the guy that deserves to be between the light lines? Uh, so really with the competition, I just, you know, come out here and I try to put my best on film, you know, and I just let the wrist handle, going to let the wrist handle how I handle. Like, I don't worry about, like, who's going to be the one, who's going to be the two. That's stuff that I can't control, you know. So I just worry about what I can control, and what I control is what I put on film. Is that a little bit of an adjustment, like college, man, like or you're all the snaps, you don't even have to wonder about it. and then you come here, first year, it's expected you're going to you're gonna wait a little bit, but is that a mental adjustment? Uh, It really is, but I feel like um, for me, uh, it helped me a lot, you know, because like, I mean, I was trying to learn maybe three positions last year, yeah. so well, like when they was calling the plays, I feel like I was thinking about what I have to do and not like what the offense about to do, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that helped me, like it helped me get to a point to where I really sat back and kept my confidence and learned the defense and just balled on special teams. And now like, I feel like I know the defense and like I'm I'm really learning the offense and what offense is like to do in certain personnel and certain formations. So I feel like that helped me a lot. There again with the guys and getting ready for the new year. Yeah, it feels good, man. Just every year, every team is different. You know what I mean? You get new faces in. For us, we got a new, uh, offensive staff, 
uh, rookies got rookies coming in, um, so you get all the all the um, undrafted free agent guys coming in. So it's just fun to be around uh, new faces, fun to be around new offense, be back with your guys, and just go out there and just play football. We talked to a lot of the guys last week, and they mentioned kind of like the new vibe, the new energy. Do you feel that? Like, is, is that prevalent in the locker room on the field? Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, anytime you make any type of change, things are going to be different. You know, especially with a guy like EB, you know, the energy that he brings and stuff like that. So, you know, I think the guys have been liking it from the defensive point. We've just been trying to grow off of what we have. Um, you know, each and every year you got you got room to improve. So trying to figure out things that we can improve to go help our, our team win games. Yeah, or something. Yeah. I think this like this American Idol or something. Y'all ain't ready. I could. I ain't going to say any y'all, but I can say no. How's it feel to be back out there? I know uh, finally you're probably fully healthy. I mean, yeah. you look good out there. Just kind of explain your mindset. Probably a little different than this time last year. Oh, it's definitely exciting. You know, um, when you, when your body is feeling good, you're in the, uh, the right place uh, mentally, you know, you're just ready to go. I'm just ready to go out here and just fly around, you know, be myself. That's what I try to put on tape each and every day. I try to improve and um, just come out here with intention, like Coach E.B. say, and focus on something to get better at. What are you seeing from your young, young quarterback, Sam Howell, how he commands the offense, his throws? <clears throat> He's doing a great job. I mean, I feel like commanding us um, out there on the field, um, he's throwing dots, you know. And like I always say, you know, no, no matter who's that quarterback, I feel like our job as receivers is to make the game easy for him. You know, we got to focus on getting open, being where we're supposed to be. So there's no pressure on him. I guess, uh, how you feeling? How's the knee? I mean, you look like you're moving out there. Just kind of yeah. give us a progress report here. Yeah, the knee feeling good, man. Y'all see it, man. I feel good. I feel good to be back with the team, you know. I feel good. How hard was that, just being out, being away your rookie year? You had all the excitement and, you know, it was kind of taken away. Oh, it most definitely was hard. You know, it felt like everything that was taken from me in one step. So I had a lot of time just to think about, you know, all the things I could have did better, you know, the things I want to do when I come back. So it really was, it was really like, a, it was a step back, but at the same time it was good because I got to see, it showed you a lot who really there for you. You know, the people that was going to hold you down while you was down, it got to show me a lot while I was down, man. Was there a mental roadblock that you had to, to trust that knee again? Nah, because I, I know this is my dream, you know what I'm saying? This is what I want to do. You know, I don't even think about it like that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I know this is what I want to do with my life. This is what I, I put all my work into. You know, I work all my life just to get to this point. So, I never think like that. Um, It's been good. Um. You know, whenever you whenever you learn your defense, the first thing is, you know, the lingo is always a little different. But um, as far as learning, it's been, you know, folks has gone really good. I feel like I know. I mean, it's easy to learn your own job, but then, you know, I'm starting to get a good beat of everyone's details, what everyone else is doing, the adjustments and stuff like that. What's the difference in the lingo, and, and how did you pick that up? Um, I mean, for what works for me, I mean, I, I guess I'll start with the first part. <clears throat> Lingo-wise, I mean, everyone just has um, terms for everything else. Like, let's say... Um, Gosh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of an example to give you. Just like tomato, tomato. I guess you know what I'm saying. There's like everyone has their own. They can coin their own terms for something, but it's all the same things. You know what I mean? Um, as far as picking it up and the whole defense in general, uh, at least what works for me is uh, I'm a flashcard guy, but I gotta write it myself. You know, I gotta write it down on a piece of paper, and then I'll just quiz myself. You know, every night, and then as we put in more calls, keep quizzing myself, and then I gotta put it to the film, and then once you actually do it on the field, I mean, experience is the best teacher. You know, so. And that's where you put it to the test, and you really it just gets ingrained, you know. How much are you doing with that at night? Like, how long are you spending doing the coach work? Um, I mean, I'll pair it with film too. But when I first got here, the flashcard thing I was probably like an hour a night, you know, just going through them and just repeating them in my head. And then I'll get up, walk around, you know, pretend I'm doing it. And then, you know, once I get a good beat of that, then it's once I got it memorized in my head good, then I'll put it to the film. And now that we've been practicing and doing it all the time. Now it's I don't need to do the flashcards anymore. I mean. On the weekends, if we have a three- or four-day break, like last week, I might review them. But, um, yeah, that, that just works for me, you know.